Hi, welcome. Um, in this video, I will be talking about Prisma Migrate. Uh, specifically, I will be talking about uh, how to baseline your um, existing uh, database with Prisma Migrate. So um, you can go to Prisma's documentation where it's um, everything's documented quite nicely. Uh, even with these charts where you can see what's going on. Um, so what baselining means is when you have your um, data in production or uh, your, your um, data is something you can't reset, like you can't get rid of your data uh, to get your migrations working. Um, usually when you start migrating and there is uh, some diversion or whatever if your database and schema is not in sync uh, it will try to uh, get rid of your data and then synchronize your schema with the um, database so um, in this video i will be talking about how you can baseline your um, existing production data um, by using some uh, cli commands so um, I have my production database uh, um, restored in my local um, database um, at this point I don't have any migration folder uh, in my uh, uh, actually I do so I'll just get rid of that I just I just got rid of my uh, migrations directory so now I have uh, exact same data as my production so um, where um, I can now try to start migrating so um, to start you could actually say um, dev. So you can uh, run Prisma Dev um, to start creating new migrations for um, your database state. Uh, what this will do is it will check if there are migrations or not, and it will create a new migration files uh, depending on um, the schema in your database. Um, In my case, I have a um, database that has been, um, I had actually tried migrating before. So if you see here, uh, what this says is I have my database uh, was applied with this migration, but the local uh, migration file is not there. So that's why there is this out of sync uh, between the schema and the migrations. So in this case, I sh um, this will uh, remove all my data. So I will just cancel that. And what I can do is um, if I check my migration table. So this, this was the migration attempt I did uh, last week where I left this record of um this migration in my database which is bad because i removed the current uh migration files so uh, the migration files from the file system i removed them but i forgot to get rid of this um database um this record in, in my database so what i just did is i just removed the migration table uh you can do that and now when I try to run my dev, Prisma dev, now it will um, create a new migration. Hopefully it does not tell me that I will lose my data. It might just tell me that. But the thing is right now I'm in my development environment. Yes, it says it will remove all my data uh, and I don't mind. 
uh, at least it didn't didn't say that there's some kind of weird thing happening like before so now um, it will create the initial schema there and now what I can do is uh, with this schema actually um, uh, I can check this in uh, I can push this to my github or whatever git and then um, uh, from production I can run this uh, migration uh, resolve because in production I already have everything this migration does like all the tables and schema all matches um, already um, if you see like this schema all this schema is doing is it's creating all the table it all uh, which already exists in my database it's creating those um, columns and keys and everything which is all there so um, to to avoid running this migration and getting rid of all the data in production what I'm supposed to do is um, so to mimic that on my local system system I can show you that um, let me just um, uh, run my so um, I'm just restoring all the data from my production site so um, right now I have my production data in my local database so if you go again here you'll see the old migration from 918 which was one week ago or last week um, so um, the database the data my own data is all same but this migration uh, uh, table doesn't match so here I would just um, delete this table again right now what I can do is uh, now I have just my data and no migration I have locally uh, um, these migrations uh, 2021 924 so there's one migration that can be applied to the database but we don't want to apply that because it's all applied we have all the things that we needed so what we can do is resolve so Prisma Resolve uh, takes this applied um, argument or argument um, and you just need to provide this 4930 underscore uh, the migration we have uh, locally so what this will do is it will now create the record in that uh, migration table saying that this thing is applied or you don't need to apply it anymore so I have to wait a bit so it says migration done so now we have that table again and now we'll see that new record 924 so now uh, this says um, what this means is we now have all our data I can check my orders where I have a test order oh actually a couple of them <laughs> okay so these are data coming from my uh, production database and now I have um, migration in place from here I can do um, Prisma dev and can see if there is any new migration that can happen and if it needs a new uh, migration it will create one because I didn't change anything in schema it won't have any new changes but everything is synced I still have my data from my production site um, and from now on I can just deploy new migrations without any problem so um, that's how you 
um, baseline your database. <coughs> so it says everything is already in sync and no schema change was detected. And we have everything <laughs> uh, in place now. So um, thank you for watching this video and if you like such kind of videos I'll be posting anything web dev related. Um, I have JavaScript tutorial series, React tutorial series. Uh, please check them out as well. And if you like this video please uh, press the thumbs up icon and also if you want to subscribe please subscribe. Thank you.